Hi guys, it's Ali, and today I'll go through a script called the building generator in which you generate procedural building objects based on a list of user controlled settings. So in layman's term, you pretty much plug in a set of parameters, basic parameters, and it generates a building for you quick process. So first of all, you need to head over to script spot to get the script. So just plug in building generator, just like I have here. Wait, for press search. Yes, press search. Wait for that. And then head down and locate building generator. Click onto that and head down and click the download link. This will bring you to this page and click on this hyperlink here. This will download the script, which then you head over to 3ds Max and head over to your utilities tab. Click on Max script and then click on run script to run your script. So head to your downloads, there you go. And this will drag it in. Well, yeah, this will open up the window for your generator. So just to run through, the user interface, you got parameters for your floors, for walls, doors, roof and materials. So in this area is you sort of select and create a copy preset settings that you have for your floor, walls and doors and whatnot what you do there so just for the sake of it it's what you do and you remove and then in this section here you set the um, bevel for your floor so I'll just do something now quickly there we go you can add ledges as well I'll just add that and add whatever you like railings after that, you head over to your, the amount of floors that you want to set. So for the sake of it, put 10. And then you can alter your surface options as well. And heading down here, the preset manager is where you could per se just add. It's where you can add um, other files such as a cat file if you want to have like a certain floor layer or bevel layer of your choice so that's how it is for the user interface for the floors and the floors are similar to walls and doors as well um, so just heading over to walls um, to enable it you click on if you want to add the windows you click on windows and add whatever you like, such as ledges, frames, blinds, indents, so balcony, sidings, and whatnot. Um, yeah, the floors, the number of floors, wall length and heights are the same as you did in the floors. So same thing for when you head over to doors click on this little button here tick the box and tick the box that you like and another thing you can view the preview of what you've selected so i'll just plug it up here so you've got to switch to scan line which is the renderer that needs to show that you need to have activated for it to show the render. Right. That took a while. Anyway, this is what we have for our doors. So, um, let's say I want to add lights. Yeah, 
pops up. It's got to give a quick click on it to view the preview. And for the roof, um, it's not too much thought. You could tick off any box you'd like and get what you want. You can add drain pipes. Uh, why not? Just do that. Drain through. Add another roof type if you want. Or select whichever type you want. And yeah, that's what it's like. So we'll just head over and generate it. Just to see what it looks like. This process takes a bit, so I'll probably just skip it. And sweet. Just maximize the viewport, and here we go. This is what it looks like. Yeah. Just quick buildings generated with a certain amount of parameters and styles we can have in our buildings. And this plugin could be useful for when you want to have somewhat surrounding buildings, realistic buildings surrounding your main design in your site. So yeah, it could be effective. It could be a good alternative to that function and purpose. So thank you for watching. Take care. Thank you.